Hey everyone, uh, we are doing another challenge recap. I have my friend May here and we did a super, super cool uh, 2023 uh, journal notebook cover challenge. And today we're gonna be looking at the entries. Uh, we're gonna be checking out the details of this challenge and what May was kind of looking for. Um, and then we're gonna look at all of the amazing entries like I mentioned already. And of course, announce a special winner to get a year of expert um, we've already been talking about it. I'm excited to announce it. I think it would make a stellar uh, journal cover. So uh, if that's any news, you know, when you find out you're the winner, maybe put it on a, you know, put it on your Red Bubble or Society 6 or something because it's making a, a stellar design. So uh, May, I'm going to pull up the challenge page here. But if you want to talk just a little bit about what you were thinking of when you made this challenge and what you were maybe looking for in terms of entries. I honestly was kind of trying to get people to create something that will make them happy. You know, the practice yeah. of gratitude and being optimistic, especially when you're putting it into a design or in writing, literally like makes endorphins in your brain. And I just wanted to see how, where people are going to take it, what 2023 means to them. And to mm. be honest, as someone who lived in Southeast Asia for a long time, I am surprised that I didn't even think that people would do so many year of the rabbit designs. I, <laughs> it wasn't even in the video I did. It wasn't even a suggestion. And I'm like, how did I miss that? How did I miss right, that? I mean, right. I know it's the year of the water rabbit. And I'm like, how did I miss that? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I thought that I, I, I'm like, I feel like I thought that a lot of people would do something that will be nice on a t-shirt because I know that a lot of people when they design a notebook they just make a design for a t-shirt they, they do it on everything yes. just put it on a, on a notebook and I'm like I'm so happy that people took it to like this is going to be a notebook this a is notebook gonna, no this is going to be a planner like I'm really happy people went that way and you can also see like the variety of the different dimensions like because we have seen a lot of different ratios of yep. the design with different notebook covers so I think this one really took me in a, in a good way okay great I'm not expecting this at all the, the most of the designs here are like uh far more complex than i can even think about making that is true yes that is yeah. true i was like how, how much time did people spend on these like some of these designs like i was like whoa yeah the matching of the colors so i was um i don't know i was just completely happy and I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting people to design notebooks, you know? I didn't expect them to yeah. be that good. And I honestly didn't expect there to be so many entries. Like, I thought there were going to be, like, 40. I mean, we're talking about notebooks. Oh, and no. Almost nobody in Print and Demand is doing notebooks as, as a thing. That's a sign. Um, yeah, I was kind of... Yay! <laughs> yeah. Well, let's take a look at the... Uh, before we go into the rest of the entries, let's, let's take a look at the top three, because... I'd like to maybe get your uh, get your thoughts on why these make uh, great notebook covers. So let's start with uh, let's start with number three um, with fancy or uh, fancy type. I know this person; they're they're very they're very very talented um, designer. But what about this? Um, you know, what about this to you says, man? That's that's a great that's a great notebook. I think that, like, for me, I, we spoke about it a little bit earlier before we started shooting. I'm a real stickler for grammar and stuff like that. So I would have liked to see a new beginning or new beginnings because it, mm, it feels like it's not sitting well with me. And for me, I just think that it's a lot of different colors that are sort of on the same, uh, like, on the same level when you look at the actual chart, when you look at the flow of colors. There is a lot of good color work here, and I feel like there is also a lot going on. Mm -hmm. There is the new beginning, and there is the new year, and there is the 2023, and there is a daily planner, and there is so much things going on here, and so many different types of styles that are mixed together. If we're looking at the banner that goes all the way to cropping the sides as well, if you're looking at the... I don't know, sort of these symbols in the bottom, and you have yeah. flowers, and then you have a diamond. Yeah, there's a lot, yeah. Yeah, it's just, um, to me, it's like there there is a lot going on. I think it's a really good design. It wouldn't have been a personal taste of mine, but I think it's just a design that is just, uh, it's very symmetrical. It's It yeah. has a lot of, it, it's, how do I say this? 
it's very vintage i mean it's 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 really you know it's it, he he's more of a you know into the vintage scene already it's very correct it's a very correct design i could i could definitely see people in certain design courses teaching how to make this method like i see the elements are aligned yeah uh, yeah thematically almost there's you know? nice nice symmetry here yeah mentioning the colors of the you know what colors kind of fade into the background which ones need to be more prominent and things like that yeah i totally i totally see that it's it's just a great math work to me <laughs> a great math work i mean yeah, come yeah, on art is math music is math design is math it's all about like you know we're moving things two pixels to the left and two pixels to the right so oh i, I see yeah i get it it's very um, mathematical here and and i like i usually don't like it when certain text elements are not centered but if you look at the 2023 i don't mean centered in the middle but i mean like the margins and the gaps yeah between the upper line and the lower line i i usually hate it that it's not like Exactly. Yeah, there's actually a shadow. But it here. works. That's why, because there's yeah, I can't really see the shadow from here, but it, it sort of works. Yeah, you can't it's... really see it, but if anyone you know goes and kind of clicks in, they can they can see there's this shadow here. But I definitely see what you mean. Well, um, that's the thing. Even if it wasn't with a shadow, it somehow works. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. I don't know how he did it, but it somehow works, and I I, I kind of I do like it. It wasn't. It, it's not something that I would get because it feels like. Too many styles are going on. Well, here. yeah, it's not your. I understand specific. why they got like in in the in the first three places. I can totally get it. Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, they're getting the Kittle Pro, Kittle Pro for six months, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go with number two. So here is one of your year of the rabbit, and this one is you know I'll I'll kind of go first talking about this. <laughs> I mean, it's it's again it's also very vintage-esque i mean actually it's very uh, very vintage there's a lot of our vintage components in here from the flourishes to the panels uh to oh man i just i love how the text is framed at the bottom i mean i really have to get in there and kind of squint to see it but i understand like as a design element i understand like the small text there um and i also just really like the simplicity of the colors up until we get to the rabbit which is pretty vibrant you know on kind of on purpose yeah um, the blue and the pink yeah but um the thing, man what what kind of sticks out to you in terms of like why you know why this might have got second place <laughs> well to be honest to tell you if this wouldn't have been in the first second or third this would have been our choice this would have been right our choice yeah i mean it's color. First of all, what stuck out to me was the pink. I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of dig the pink and blue vibe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the purple and blue vibe. It's uh, it's it's so me, and I love it. And what stuck out to me was uh, the the M for the twenty for uh, the two thousand. Oh yes. Okay, I see. Usually I see. we don't see yeah, Roman yeah. letters going up so high. We like Roman numbers. We don't see them going up so no. high. Oh yeah, that's true. I feel like it's kind of a, a something that can really catch the eye of people even though if you if you actually analyze it using the roman numbers here makes no sense but because, it also fits at the same time yeah, but, but the year of the rabbit is an is an asian thing sure like it makes it it's not even a cultural sense but having if this would have said like 2023 at the bottom i feel i feel like it wouldn't have drawn that much attention because I, I guess okay, a lot of people would know that the X's and the I's are letter are like numbers, but a lot of people wouldn't know that M is a number as well. And I feel like right. it's kind of when you when you go through trying to pick something to wear or to buy, and that's the same thing that you should be aiming for when you design something that people would like hover over for that one extra second to see your design. I feel like that gets it. I feel like it's yeah. it's colors in the middle, the eyes of the rabbit that are like turquoise blue. Yeah, very and vibrant. The, I yeah. feel like there's just so many elements in this design that will get people to look at a million notebooks and stop on this one. Obviously, if this was going to be on an actual notebook, uh, I hope that everybody knows here that they need to like create margins because notebooks in many of these places are printed with a little bit of an in bound. Yes. Yeah. But, but, uh, wow. This would have been an amazing poster. Also like, true. Yeah. 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 I don't even. Ah, and the. What does it say in the middle? I, I'm trying to like read it. 
Uh, it says incarnation of the moon goddess. Oh wow! Yeah, it there's is, a lot of little secret rabbit. like pieces in here that you know, and then at the very bottom it says a symbol of pureness and auspiciousness. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Uh, as you kind of said, like looking through a bunch of different notebooks, you're going to stop on this one, even if you're if you're scrolling on a POD or if you're even in an actual shop somewhere. Yeah. you're gonna stop on this one and look at it i would buy it as a cover of a book that talks about the meaning of zodiac signs in the in also China. true he, he has like the, the the mona lisa thing like if you go here and if you go here he's like oh. looking at you oh the rabbit yeah <laughs> it's like no matter where you go he's looking right at you <laughs> it's pretty insane so definitely well done here definitely deserving of second place super nice yeah. job so this one uh so we have thirsty man designs as the number one i had actually voted on this one as well as my choice and i think the reason i did I was, <laughs> was because like simplicity and color it kind of gives that like wood carved you know that yeah. like wood etched um you know, I, I just I follow people on Instagram that do that just because it's like kind of therapeutic to watch them like carve out the you know, whether it's like a skateboard or whatever they're doing. And this really reminded me of that, that kind of like stamped, pressed looking uh, feel and just two colors. That's what's insane is like there's this crazy like pastel -y, vibrant tur turquoise with the black is just like, I don't know with the bird in the middle is just awesome. What, what stands out to you? Well, it stands out to me that a lot of people would combine this with a more vivid color. Like people would have, m most people would have done it with a more vivid color. And if he would have done it with a more vivid color, then the wood carving effect that you have in your head would have been gone. I, I really feel like the color choice here might not have been the most obvious choice for a lot of people in terms of what colors are going to go together on a design. And a lot of people would have chosen like a third color to be a bit brighter or even white. But I feel like um, without those colors and keeping this on this like level of shades away from black, it did make the wood carving look uh, like a thing. Yeah, um, I would have actually loved to try to work on it and something with Procreate because I don't know, like if I was looking at this in Procreate, then I would have definitely like colored a little bit of the flowers where they come out, where the lines little bit come out. Mm -hmm. because you know just to add a little bit of touch on them and they don't have any effect on it like they, there is no surface pattern no i don't think so it's just um it was actually also going to be one of my choices if they didn't win <laughs> yeah i mean i i'm one of my comments was like both simple and detailed at the same time like it's just and it also kind of has that that same vibe as the other two first and uh, sorry second and third place where it is very symmetrical i mean the bird obviously in the middle it's is kind symmetrical of and point. not symmetrical that's the yeah, thing right. most, the centered thing here is not symmetrical that's gorgeous yeah and everything else though kind of is which is nice and so you kind of have that both and and then you have just pretty simply you know 2023 journal at the bottom you know it's just like this is very <laughs> this is a very obvious design but it's like you know what you're getting uh, you know what it is and yeah just super well done here yeah, i hope this person is on zazzle because i would have slapped this in every shade of dark pastel that i could think of on every notebook and i would have also tried to do the same like i would have tried like if this is my design i would have totally made like a full set like a full collection of a bunch of notebooks so not only the black background and you know dark purple dark pastel burgundy stuff like that but I would, I would have also made like very light pastel pink. Okay, of the okay. Background, and then all the elements that are in turquoise, I would have made them in white. And I would okay. have run it as a series with the like bright pastels being the background and white being the scent, like the designs. But there is so much potential. This, this is like endless potential. And it's one of the reasons why I think I like notebooks so much because it's just, you know, it's everything has to be in the right color. And I feel like a lot of people don't, really get that because you know when you're designing a t-shirt then the colors come like the, the background of t-shirt of the color kind of comes with it but with notebooks you're designing the entire product yeah like, there is no background choice for the buyer to change sure there is nothing they can change about it so i would have definitely like if i'm selling this on a platform like zazzle or even on kdp i would have made it in like every color in the book man yeah 
It's really yeah. good work. Super great. Well done to all of the top three. Um, excellent job. And now I, I want to pose a question. Sure. To the winner of number one, because they're getting the Amazon gift card, which we yeah. have not talked about. I want to know what they're going to buy with it. Now, they don't have to tell me, but when I asked that question in my video, so many people either DM'd me or commented that they're going to get uh, an Apple pencil. Ah, <laughs> so, interesting. Like okay. an iPad pencil. Uh, so I really, I, I'm interested if, if the person would like to say they don't have to. Um, I kind of want to know if this is like, you know, something you're getting for a family member, something you're, you know, hey, I want, I'm going to spoil myself with something personal or with something like to lift me up professionally. Yeah, yeah. No. Sweet. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely good question. Um, so let's scroll down and we're going to just take a gander at all of the other honorable mentions here, all of the other entries, because like we were kind of talking before, you know, before the call, there's kind of everything under the sun here. There's vibrant, there's simple, there's lots of text, there's simple text and Any rabbits man yeah a lot of rabbits there's just everything under the sun here so um why don't we just choose a couple and we can kind of like give some points maybe of critique um okay. we can share what's going on well so as i kind of scroll here what what's a design that's kind of sticking out to you um let's do the skull in a coffee because it's a coffee and it's like my thing ah i see okay yeah, yeah. very interesting looking design here this is something that i those. did have something to say on if it's ever going to show up i don't know that one's not wanting to show up very much here ah there we go okay okay, okay so the Recharge. thing that's funny for me is actually something you said okay in one of the videos you did because you were showing how you can click shift and change the dimensions of an element yes so one thing that stood up to me was that the speech bubble should have been a bit wider okay so yes more readable Yes, you can kind of warp. Um, yeah, you can kind of warp or stretch some elements yeah. to give yourself some more space. Because yeah. I can see it says recharging, but when it was small, I actually didn't. I didn't know what it said. I didn't get that it says recharging. Until I mean, I can see it, like it's for me here now. So. Yeah, here on this screen, I have like I can see you and like I can see this, but over here I have a big screen. I can I can yeah. see it here that it says recharging, and you know you would probably be able to see it on a you know. I don't know if something like like this size notebook, it might be a little too small, but maybe if you had that on a big notebook, I definitely agree uh, kind of tweaking that text a little bit, the the whole shape to be like bigger. So you can yeah. actually see it says recharging, but the skull and the coffee pot is cool. If you tweak it to be a bit bigger for the text, you kind of lose the effect that it kind of looks like the smoke. Steam, coming out. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like there is, there is so many things even though this is like we, we've seen a very complex design so far and this is supposed to be relatively less complex than them but in terms of the design elements and the things that are going on there is a lot going on here yeah. like the recharging i would think about batteries so if there was a something relating to a battery in there that's the recharge and the coffee and then a skull i i wouldn't combine the recharging with a skull because you can't recharge something that's dead um uh but no it's like i feel yeah, like no, I get it. like i can look at this and get like three notebook design ideas with each sure. and every like i like that the skull is like drowning in the coffee um i would have maybe honestly i would have put boo on it like the the words the word boo instead of recharging ah uh, okay that would okay. have been like something cool like your 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 morning coffee like there is a dead skull surprising you not even relating to halloween I would have put boo in it or yeah. something with a skull and with the recharging I might have put the recharging like on the line of the coffee and then actual smoke I can see like so many different design ideas that come yeah. from looking at this but this is like yeah I don't, I don't know and, I can, but I, I love it I kind of get it though I love because, the <laughs> yeah I, I I like you know I think I think it's kind of like a you know it's not a, a metaphor I guess but it's like you know in the morning you're kind of dead you know until you're until you have, this would have, have been coffee brilliant. Yeah, As yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, it, yeah, I get it for sure. So, but there, there's definitely some room for improvement. So, as, as you said, there's, there's, there's a lot of potential here, and something that's just a couple of elements and some text. You can really have something pretty no, amazing. Wait, seriously, as a poster, I would have stopped on this. As a poster, big poster. If you would have made the the coffee pot maybe a bit bigger, I would have, I would have gotten something like this as a poster. I think just as a notebook. Yeah. I wasn't 
it wasn't really connecting with me because I know that a lot of people are, you know, it, it, for me, it's either like with notebooks, it's either like there is just art on it with no text or the text has to have meaning. Correct. Like that. Yes. So, yes. But a poster that would be brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, let's continue to scroll down here. Let's, let's pick another one. What's, uh, mm. what's also a lot more to go on. Someone did puzzles. It looks like that's why I saw it because I have a thing for puzzles. Well, you this know, this one right here, someone yeah. was playing to their audience. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Take it one piece at a time. Yeah, puzzle joke. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, I get it. You know, it has a little, little area for you to have, you know, your name and maybe some other text or something like that. That's pretty solid. Which, by the way, might backfire because in most notebooks, uh, like if you if you look at the majority of print on demand notebooks, and I I didn't order from all of the suppliers, but I did order from like most. Um, you can't actually write on the cover. Yeah, because it's like slick or it's like, you know, something. Glossy. Yeah, glossy. Yeah. glossy or hard cover and like a uh, sort of fabric feel to it. Every single notebook that I've ordered, whether it's Printify, um, what do I have here? Redbubble Society 6, Art of Wear, Zazzle. Yeah. Even KDP, no matter what is the book type, no one can put the name on the cover. This would be good if this was on Zazzle and there was and then text it, on just, it and, they can, yeah. and the buyer can change the text. I was getting ready to make that comment. That would that would work. Yeah, that would definitely work. That's why I don't get how people do this on KDP. They sell all these composition notebooks where you put your name in the front page, but the like on the top. But the fact is that you can't put your name on the notebook cover because the notebook cover is not writable. Yeah, editable, yeah or yeah, writable on it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. What else do we have here? There was one thing. First of all, that this one with the notes with a yellow line that's crossing. Did you uh, fact that these are like the letters are not in the ABC? Yeah. So I see that like the. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, Kathleen is one of our uh, ambassadors, always in Kittle, all the time. Um, and this is really stellar. Um, it de I definitely got it. It was pretty intense. Uh, 2023 20, here, and then notes here. And these are the missing letters from the the order here. That's, that's, it, that's dedication there to make sure all of the aligning is, is right. It did it did make me, uh, this design, I, I do have to say, uh, made me take action. Um, and um, I looked at it, and then I thought to myself, hmm, I want alphabet stamps for ink. For some of oh, my yeah. personal things, so I actually saw this design and went on to a shop that we have here in Bulgaria in Varna, and online ordered stamps for ink. Yeah, that's super. With the cool. alphabet letters, this literally made me do it. I'm so happy. Yeah, there's this kind of like letter pressy style uh, design there, which I, I really really like. This reminds you of a of a wax seal. Yes, this one I also like. I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, yeah. You know, be careful with your spacing and things like that, as yeah. you kind of already mentioned. Yeah, the margins are from the side. Yeah, yeah, but but generally, it's pretty stellar. I do like how the silhouette kind of cuts into the background. It's it's that's that's a great way. I would see something like this definitely in a store. Yeah, yeah, I can see that for sure. Let's see what else do we have. There's just so but much the like focus one, the focus. Where is um, the one with the go. cracked? Yeah, thing. the cracked. Yeah, that's pretty intense, right? I think that was Misha's favorite because he was, uh, my ex was looking over all of the designs with me and I, this one grabbed his attention. He has a thing for these, like he would buy this on a phone case, like, uh, like any, anything that looks cracked because it's like cool. Yeah, no, it is cool. That's really yeah, cool. I like the breakaway cool. effect. It's still in the 90s, but some of us still think it's cool. Yeah. But we're still within the 90s. No, seriously, this is like an old, an old way of doing stuff. This is like old movie posters. For sure, um, for sure. Like this was also really good for a poster. I would definitely put it like in an office. Mm, yes, I can see that thing. for sure. This one's pretty interesting as well. Um, I like the component of having a photo in the back. Um, I do think placement of text maybe could be, um, you know, tweaked a bit. But I did like the idea of having this this you know pretty nice photo in the background. I didn't get why are there the elements between my and journal. Yeah, that's I'm not entirely sure either. Um, change your thoughts and change your. Oh, it's 2023. It says here, can you spot the the 2023? And it's right here. Oh. So they're made of yeah. elements. Uh, 
Yeah, but th that okay. That's the thing. If I only have this to look at, and I would really focus on this, I would see it, and I would think it's cool. Now I can see it's cool. But if I was just scrolling down, I would think it's like if I was scrolling down and not just looking at this, I would think it's a mistake. Like I would think that this is something that, like. I wouldn't get that it's funny unless I stop to look at it. And if you're in a marketplace and you're and you don't look and you don't stand out, no one stops to look at it. It's kind of a yeah, yeah. I, I do think that it's cool now that I get it. Yeah, <laughs> you could have even put the, that, that up here. You know, like mm -hmm. move that component up here. I'm not sure you need the side components. You've oh, already kind of got this frame here, and these would get cut off anyway. And then you could have your quote there in the center with the this cool looking 2023 right here and you're 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 good to go um, like this design, if you move the corners a little bit if, if once you get rid of all the corners and these elements i feel like the design would look a bit naked but it will look good on a one by one ratio notebook yeah because then you're fixing the height issue right yeah 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 so Basically. again a lot of potential there it's it's yeah. a very very cool idea also, if they would have just used that quote with like, you know, more calligraphy of that quote, like distortion, distort and stuff like that, that would have been really cool because it's a really good quote. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, let's see what else we have. There was another one that we were looking at. This yeah. is Kim, another one of our ambassadors. Great. I like uh, 2030 and, and 23 in text. Yeah. And of course, that there is a place for a name. Her name, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, it says another one of our. Um, you know, we have the symmetricness of the, yeah. the left and the right with the flowers in this frame, right? Mm -hmm. So it's vintage esque in a in a way. It's very like Art Nouveau. And then we've got like some clouds and stuff here on the top and bottom. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice design here. I think it's just uh, I I like it because it says gratitude. Yeah, and also no, I get it. Like, from, like I think that everything that has M on it, I'm just naturally attracted to it because you know that's the first letter of my name. Ah, uh, I don't know if you get that thing. Like, I don't. Gonna you to it because because it it starts like with a letter that you associate yourself with. I don't know. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I want to see the year of something. Uh, wait, wait, that 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 insane colors thing. Many many colors up. Where are um, the twenty twenty three. A year of ingenious ideas, beautiful. Very that seventies show. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Very seventies, very very seventies. I can uh, honestly, if you could have put like you know a van, a Volkswagen there, that yeah. would have been. Obviously, we can't. But this is like totally that seventies show. Totally, this is actually a really good poster. I would have definitely got this one. Like made this one to be a poster. It's really good as a poster. Yeah, I really like that one. And then I, I like this one as well, right? With the uh, the key and the, the 2023, just simple like that. It's like another one of those designs that's uh, simple. And oh, look, you have so clean and elegant. <laughs> you wrote down. It is basically what I was about to say. Um, yeah, and the colors. It. Yeah, you beat me to it. The colors, though, like they're, they're standing out, right? It's like they're standing out while not standing out. Yes. It's like someone took the most, the the, the, the most unstanding out colors in the world and made a design stand out. And I, I told you before, yeah. this reminds me of the like the book, The Secret Garden. Yeah. I, I can totally see myself like using a key to open the door, um, to the garden, and it has just this. Um, uh, I, I don't want to say it in a bad way because I mean it as a compliment, but it has like this restrained, like someone who's like elegant and holding on to their. Uh, S H I T. <laughs> I don't want to curse on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it, this is this is uh yeah this is stellar. I mean this this would sell this would sell for sure. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's pick let's pick one more before we announce our uh, special okay. winner. Not so daily journal. Let's take a look at that Karen P. So this one, yeah, I I like the. First of all, I'm a big fan of scribble elements and we do have like a whole category of those in the That's abstract in the abstract part of kittle okay. and i use them all the time and like i make a lot of designs for like uh churches and for other places that do events and they always want to use the scribble component like i don't know why it's like it so attention to the word it's yeah like, it's, it's like talk. naive and yeah. it's like at 
abstract it's not abstract because it's like obvious but it's like it gives it that kind of dingy <laughs> look but it's also like such a cool creative element at the same time and i that might that my eye is drawn to journal because of that scribble is all well, th that's the reason why people scribble <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. to draw your attention um i like uh, and there are two things that stood out to me with this design one yeah. For someone to write not so daily journal, they have to be a journalist, like not journalist, like reporter, but they but, have to be yeah. crazed into journals because it's such a thing within the community where people start out and you have all the, oh, you should journal daily, my five yeah. minutes, well, I don't have time to journal every day. And sometimes I don't want to, and sometimes I forget. And yeah. people feel like uh, so bad about it because I promised myself that I'll do this for my mental health and la la la. So it's kind of like putting it out there. Well, I'm not going to journal every day and that's okay. Yeah, uh, that's true. It feels like it's it's not just the design. It's the fact that they managed to get a design cover with like a small inside joke. Yeah, of the audience that people can relate to. And it's yeah, it's it's selling twofold. The design is good, but then you have that component that kind of reaches the the emotion. This aspect. Kinda, yeah, this kind of gets you thinking that it's okay to not journal every day. It kind of makes you feel better about yourself. I, I don't know how to say And it kind of is like a fun thing where you're like, I could see like having this around the house, a thought pops yeah. into my head and I'm like, I'm going to put this in my not so daily. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that would yeah. be really cool. Yeah. And the, the second thing I would like to know is how long did it take Karen to find a splatter of ink and to put it exactly under that pen? <laughs> Well, we have those splatters like in there. I know all your ink splatters, and I tried playing around with them, and I couldn't do that. And yeah, I, well, they may have used the shift. Uh, they may have used the shift technique to get that that uh, warp warp on there in the right way. Yeah. But absolutely you stunning. Think that I would change um, because I would make a small change here. I would disconnect the background texture layer and put the um, this this part. Don't have the texture on this part right here. Yeah, but the thing is that if you don't have the texture on this part, then you have to have the texture on the flowers, like, because the flowers are on top of that part. Hmm. Yeah, there's a Maybe way. Maybe try a different color burn or a different mixture. And I think I think that if the background, like, if the, if the background of the square would have been, like, absolute white or just a tiny bit closer to white, then I wouldn't have seen the texture on it almost at all, because once it's white, when you're doing color burn, it's it's gone. So I feel like yeah, that would have yeah. draw more attention. I feel like the the center should have been brighter. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. But a little lighter. Like yeah. Brilliant design, man. Like yeah, really, 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 really well done. Um, okay, so I think it is time to award our special winner, and I am going to scroll up here to find it. We were talking about this earlier, and <laughs> I think that. Uh, but it was Marina, a close call. There were so many good call. designs. There it was so really many. hard. But the way that the thorns and the roses are around the, you know, the 2023 component in the middle, it's another one of those that, in my opinion, is, you know, simple and elegant at the same time. And the colors, I think, are stellar. So, but why is this for you? Why is this, uh, why is this your, uh, your special winner? Well, first of all, as we said, the blue and pink. Uh, I, you're playing I'm, to the person again. <laughs> uh, yeah, they say like, like uh, don't don't play the game, play the person. Yeah, play uh, to the audience. I think that the it's it's standing out. But if you if you try to go back to like the the math of things, if you look at the exact ratios of each color in here, it's pretty much correct when you try to combine four colors in a design. It's yep. very correct. It feels very restrained. And to be honest, um, I live in Bulgaria. It's the land of roses. Um, it's kind of the thing here. Like everything is a, a, with roses here. All the gifts of Bulgaria are like rose oil and rose soap. Like we, we drink rose tea. I'm not gonna say it's good because <laughs> it's disgusting. But I feel like everything here is roses all the time. Like Bulgaria is truly a place for roses. So it, it also kind of caught my attention. And it's also like where I've been at in the past year and a half, roses are a cultural aspect of life. And obviously, you know, this sentence is in many more places than other than Bulgaria. Sure, yeah, it's more encouraging, you know, kind of inspirational. 
but that's the thing it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like one of those optimistic designs in your face so yeah everything's it's it's very like reserved yeah. yeah again yeah. very restrained i don't know what's with me with restraint today but that's the word i'm gonna go with it's very <laughs> restrained so they're getting the kittle expert huh yeah uh, that yeah i would say um just to note on the on the colors as well yeah you kind of have that uh 60 30 10 maybe not as exact as you know 60 percent 30 percent 10 maybe we split because you have four colors yeah we have four colors so we split it another way but and then if you also use like i'm not one of i'm not a designer that uses like you know the golden ratio spiral thing yeah, yeah, yeah. now i watch a lot of videos on it and i think it's like interesting and i've also watched people do like spoofs of that they're like here's why this design is the best and they'll put like the golden <laughs> ratio on like the mcdonald's logo or something anyway if you put that on here and you spiraled it around to where that big rose is on top <laughs> of 2023 it kind of like it kind of follows the golden ratio a little bit um but I don't, I don't like look at a design and look at that too much, especially if I haven't even thought about it. I, I just noticed that I really like that the R of roses is big. Oh yeah, we have that glyph there, that that ligature that goes around yeah. under the O is really nice there. Yeah, but yeah, again, absolutely stunning. This would definitely sell. So make sure you're on, you know, something. Make sure you're yeah, on. This is like Zazzle I would have to recreate it in a different style. Like try to make the background like purplish pastel dark, and then the roses and the and the like the the light pink i would try to make it like light blue like to revert these colors oh yeah i see yeah well again well done to everyone that did the challenge not just the the top three and the special winner just ev everybody i mean we had a lot of fun already may and i were looking at designs before um i was looking at them over the weekend it was just it's always amazing to see what people are gonna do with the challenge and you know Again, if you didn't get in on this one, if you're watching it and you're like, oh, I missed this opportunity, if you check the link, you can find the ongoing challenges right now. We're always going to have new challenges, so don't forget to test out your skills, do another challenge, and you can win something uh, really cool. May, I know you have a couple upcoming things, uh, like video-wise, I'm going to let you kind of speak, uh, you know, let people know what's going on. Uh, anything, <laughs> anything you want to, uh, anything yeah, you want to tell them. Background. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, but anything no, you want to like, mention. I, I literally don't. Honestly, uh, one of my biggest videos, I was actually going to tell you about this. Um, so we did the print on a man news yesterday uh, where I told people about today. And I kind of feel like a time traveler. Because when I was filming a <laughs> video on the back YouTube, and in the past. Filming it before and after this thing that's tomorrow or something. Um, I am having uh, two more videos this month with Kittle um, hopefully like I'll, I'll, I'll manage to stick to my schedule so the next one is actually coming up on Friday and I'm finally going to do the Kittle versus Canva oh, um, wow. people have been asking me for so much now obviously I'm still using Canva for a bunch of stuff sure um, because I'm not just doing print on demand I'm doing so much other stuff other things, like yeah yeah stuff for youtube uh things for clients that need like you know a pdf stacking like if I want to bind a book or something like this sure, like sure. i need to, 100 pages pdf yeah 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 documents and stuff like that but um i kind of stopped designing from canva for print on demand every single thing i do is now with kittle and i think that a lot of viewers have noticed it uh so i'm finally going to do my kittle versus canva because i know that a lot of people don't know like which one they should get or what sure. not uh there are different aspects to every platform and it's also not just about what you can do with the platform it's also what platform you're selling it on sure because platforms for example like zazzle have a designer option on the product itself yeah so taking elements from other stuff and for me like just sometimes i would just take a piece of text from kittle and just drop it on zazzle on a background that i made myself so sure. uh that's coming up on the 28th well everyone make sure that you uh follow may the link is down in the description um, by the way, all the pajamas that I did with Awkward Styles are also in my profile on Kittle. So, like, if you like the more self-love design yes. and my notebook, you can design the same one as well. Like, these are yes. on my profile on Kittle for everybody to design. Yep. I, I'm obsessed with this. You have no idea how many compliments I got on it. Excellent. It's like, it's it's the love of my life. Awesome. It's my, can I vote for my own notebook? You cannot. Sorry. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I will link uh, everything is down below your your profile, uh, your uh, YouTube channel, everything. So make sure all of you check that out. May, thanks again for hanging out. This was a lot of fun uh, going this. Nice. But thanks everyone for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye. Yay.